how do you explain to the public what you did yesterday, Mr. Burko? It was a very old precedent. You said in January that. Um, that Mr. Burke, you As said. I, say, I really feel you ought to get yourself some coffee or tea. I did offer to buy you all coffee and tea, but you declined my kind offer. Uh, but you've obviously already drunk lots of coffee or tea. And I wish you well. It's very, and it's a very, very impressive uh, bobble hat you're wearing there, or perhaps not a bobble hat, but a hat of sorts. Anyway, I'm, you said in January, I'm, the I'm sure everybody's. I'm sure people are so very grateful to you for showing such an interest at this time of the morning. It's a very it's interesting very, story, very Mr. Burke. Very well done. You said in January that Parliament can't rely on old precedents, Mr. Oh. Burke. This careful, is... careful, there are cars coming along here. I'm not going to sacrifice myself for your benefit. I know that you attach great weight to what you think, but perhaps you'd be kind enough to allow me to proceed. How, how do you explain your decision? Very good of you to do so. Okay. Very well done. Lots of people are annoyed at this decision. What would you reply to that? Are you trying to delay Brexit? Postpone it? No. You said in January that Parliament can't only rely on precedent. It's a very old precedent. 17th century one. What made you choose to dig it up yesterday, Mr. Burke? Okay. Do you think it's the right decision? What next, next for Brexit, Mr. Burke? Okay. Perhaps, gentlemen, you'd allow me to proceed to work. Thank you. And I wish you a good day. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, sir. Great, sir.